Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be showing you the use of HSM with radial and spiral machining. We'll start off by showing you radial machining on this part. We want to machine this part in a radial fashion, and we also want to skip over the slots as shown over here so that the tool will not go into the slot itself. We'll start with the operation of HSM and we'll choose the option of radial machining as shown over here. Now the tool that I will be using will be a six millimeter ball end mill and if we take a look at our boundaries the boundary that I've created is actually around the part itself and also I've chosen the slots themselves also so that we can actually skip over those areas in itself. In my passes area I'll be doing a step over of every two millimeters and we should note also that the step over of every two millimeters is actually the maximum step over at the edges themselves. Now you'll also note that the center is automatically given on the part itself as well as the angle and the radius, the maximum radius on the part itself is automatically given. If I go into my link area, we'll be working in this particular case bidirectional, but since I also wanted to skip over this area in a smooth fashion, I'll also choose the option of simple ordering, and as well, I'm going to my strategy, and I'll have my strategy at 200 millimeters, assuring that I will not go into any of these slotted areas itself. I'll do save and calculate. And if we take a look at our simulation, you'll note that my tool pass is going exactly around the part. And as it gets to those slotted areas, it jumps exactly over those slots, not touching and not going in, but having a smooth jump over, over those parts of the slots itself. And look at the edges themselves also. We're assuring that we have actually a smooth radius between each path as we go around the part itself and we can see this as it go over, goes around the entire part until the very end. I'd like to take the same part and instead of using radial machining I'll use the option of spiral machining. So I'll start a new operation again I'll choose add operation in the HSM and I'll choose the option of spiral machining. The tool, I'll be using the exact same tool I used last time, a 6 millimeter ball and mill, and my constraint boundaries will be the exact same boundaries as last time. Also, again, I want to assure that I jump over those slotted areas. Now, in my passes, I'll be choosing the option, again, of every 2 millimeters, and again, note that the center is automatically chosen, and also my radius is automatically chosen from the part. Also note, I should always note this, that my step over is also seen always in a diagram on the side so you can always see what we're talking about. Now let's go into my link area. And in my link area, I want to use this time one way. And again, because I want to jump over those areas smoothly, I'll first use my simple ordering option. And in my strategy, I want to make my stay on surface within bigger than four, so I'll use a value of 15 millimeters. If I do save and calculate now, if we take a look now at our simulation, you'll note that the tool goes down in the middle as shown here. It works around in a spiral fashion on the part itself, and when it gets to the slotted areas, it actually jumps over those areas in a smooth fashion, going onto the next surface smoothly without any, leaving any kind of mark of any sort. And as you can see, it'll get to the end. But also, let's take a look at the middle. You'll note that the tool actually goes down and ramps improperly, so this way we have a small, smooth entrance into the part itself and it works its way all the way to the outside, completing our part. Thank you for joining us on Solid Care Professor. Take care and have a nice day.